All right, so we are here at the shop and I thought it'd be fun to do another shop update vlog. We have the in-store pop-up shop coming. That's in like, I don't know, a week or a week and a half, like a week and a half, October 23rd and 24th. So that'll be here in person if you are nearby within, you know, a few hours i suspect you could probably just drive it i know there are people flying in and this is my second i guess my second annual is that what they call that i don't know i had one in spring springtime and then now i'm gonna have another one so you can come here shop in person all around and i do have a variety of new things here and on top of all of that i'm going to be doing specials it'll be 25 percent off day one and 50 percent off day two uh, I actually need to go check a trap outside. We have a mole, at least one mole. I'm supposed to put them along like one of the runways. Yeah, no, nothing's happened. It would like be popped up if it caught one. See how bad that looks. And it's really not, I don't care how it looks, but Aaron has trouble mowing this. I really would like to get this place painted before a pop-up but I need to use this thing. There's the paint. I don't know if that's enough paint, but it's, I would hope. These are all things that I had recent, recently gotten. There's more that I've recently gotten, but not in a video. Oh, I picked up this aluminum Christmas tree. It is stunning. Look at this. It is silver and gold. Isn't that ridiculous? It is beautiful. There are 94 branches, and it comes with this box. Peco. So it says it's a six foot tree. Then I went online because I needed to get a post for it. These are the only poles that came with it, and that's not good enough. So I had to look for a replacement, and luckily there, there was someone who like makes them new but they're like, they look old. And so I bought a replacement pole. So needless to say, I spent more for the replacement pole than I did for the, the tree. And then I still need to get a stand for it and then it'll be complete and then I'll sell it. But to be honest, this is, this is at least a $500 tree. It is, it is a very unique colorway. And it's like, it says it's six foot tall, which is, really good. The taller they are, obviously the more expensive they are. But isn't that different? Silver and gold. Oh, and it's a pom-pom. Pom-pom is whenever it has like that little flare out on the end. I have these signs here that I'm going to put out. 25% store wide. And then we've got blue shelf, $2 each. So everything on the shelf is $2 each. Oh my gosh, what a deal. Actually, it's not even legit for me to say that because it's 25% off of that right away. So it's a dollar and a half each, effectively. Wow. And I mean, and there's like all these little, little goobs right there, all them little doodads. And here's some Wade whimsies, just, just everything. It's good, it's so good. Oh, there's more stuff that I need to put away and do something with. Huh. I've been rearranging like all of the wall stuff, trying to, and because there's more to add and then there's just like, you know, so I'm trying to. And then like even over there, I've added a lot. And the chalkware, there's so much I need to do still. It's really, I mean, there's a lot, but then there's not a lot. And, and the reality is like a lot of the stuff that I've recently been buying, I could just put it away. And I don't have to like price every little bit of it and put it out. So it's okay. It's really quite all right. The 50s kitchen is mostly ready. It just needs to kind of be spruced up a little bit, organized a little bit better. But there's some fun things. There really is. Yes, we've got dolls too. Some dolls. Did I ever show this chair? I found this chair in the trash. I love it. I had to rescue that thing. It was in the trash. I don't know if I want to sell it, but I guess I'll put a price tag on it and see what happens. But uh, the 50s kitchen 
in all its glory is over here. I just, it's so nice. I need to put all these fabrics away. Those are tablecloths. And I need to decide also where they're gonna go. Am I gonna put them back in there? Or am I gonna put them on one of those shelves? Like there's more. That was from a rummage sale. Again, I didn't film at it. If I tried to film at that sale, you would have lost your mind. It was so much. Oh, I don't know if I showed the window. I've got a window there now. To the window! Uh, that needs to be framed out better too because it looks like crap. And there was a big window unit there and it was kind of hiding some of that. That's why there's like beige. That was the original color in here, that dark mocha, choca loca color. So I painted it white. It's much better white. <sighs> yeah, I got all these things. I don't think I'll do a, a haul or anything on this so you can kind of just see a little bit of what I got. But these prices are remarkable. 25 cents for the glass iridescent tree, yes. Look at that little boo thing. Crazy. Crazy. And this beautiful thermos for 75 cents. Like that is stunning for Christmas. And I got these like jewelries. Look at these. Aren't those funny? <laughs> those are hilarious to me for 50 cents. Oh yeah, yeah. And I got this huggers. Look at those. Those are napco or no, are they napco? No, wait, who are you? Oh yeah, they're Napco. They're Napco candle huggers. Ridiculous, ridiculous for $2. Stained glass, longer burger pumpkin. Grandma in grandma's head. What does she do anyway? What are you? What do you do with her? Does she hold stuff? I don't know, I got it because it was a quarter. <laughs> And she has googly eyes. Grandma has googly eyes. Oh, and this you could put like candy in, little thing. Yep, so that was a really good estate sale. Ooh, I love this TV clock. That's cool. Yeah, you are. And a pie bird. And, um, I got a mess down there too. Ugh. Yeah, there has been a new development lately and it's in this room. That's where I'm storing it. So let's turn the light on. Now, that's the other window that I replaced. This one looks a lot better because it was already framed out correctly. So I was able to slap in the glass and there it is. It's actually not even glass, it's um, acrylic. This is my new tape that I have launched. This is a Christmas tape, it is so festive. I plan to add more designs, but this is the Christmas pattern. And this is tape. <laughs> <laughs> it works very easily. You just stick it on things and there you go. It's not water activated, so you don't need a special device or anything. You could just pull it up and stick it on. That's the way it is. It's shipping tape. So this is a very nice, strong and sticky. It is sticky. It sticks to like plastic and so your bubble wrap and all of that really well. So you can actually get this on my website. I'll have it linked down below, but you can buy my new shipping tape and I will have more designs out, different different types of tape. I also have tape guns and you can also buy these. I have some of these on my website too. So my eventual idea would be to have like a whole separate business of selling shipping tape. I think there's a place for, in the market for that. I just, like imagine having just fun tape that you could just plop on the outside of your box. It instantly makes your box exciting and stand out from everyone else's because what else are you gonna use? Like clear tape? Are you gonna buy your own tape? I've done both of those and I can tell you one thing, if you buy your own tape, it's very expensive. Unless you get, uh, I, the, I think the cheapest tape you could get would be the the, that paper stuff that's like gummed. It's like a water activated tape. And the problem I know with that is a couple things. One, it's very costly. It like, you don't get very much tape for what you pay. And secondly, you can't use it uh, like anywhere really. So you can use it on your paper boxes, but you can't stick it to bubble wrap. So it's kind of like it has that and then you still need another tape for your, if you're using bubble wrap. And then I know people who like say they don't necessarily trust it. So they then they 
put clear tape around it anyway or another tape just to make sure. <laughs> so the point is that tape, it's one strip is all I use and it's good to go. And there's a lot of tape on a roll. So it'll, it's a good value. Um, I, by this, by the time this video comes out, that tree over there would be sold. So that's another aluminum tree that I recently picked up. Beautiful. I love it. You look beautiful, dear. Uh, so that one, I got at a yard sale and it is a stunner. It's tall too. Very nice. It came in that box. That's just a target box. So I love it. It is all complete except for one of the branches. You can actually see the hole right here. Good thing about this, you could find replacement branches on eBay pretty regularly. And this is your standard aluminum tree, so that won't be too difficult. Oh, this is where I took photos from my tape, my little impromptu studio. <laughs> this is fun for Micah. I've had this for years now, and I love it. It's always been a favorite of mine. I'll show you why. So this is the Formica, and it has little gold glitter speck flecks in it. I just have always loved this, this style. And the reasoning is, so my, when I was growing up, my grandma had a beauty salon attached to the back of her shop or about <laughs> attached to the back of her house. And they had stuff like this. Well, they had something similar in the bathroom too, but like this, they had in this nice cart over here and I actually have the cart now. So I use it. I'll use it for whenever I have my pop-up sale too, because we have coffee on it. So... This one is the same. It has the gold like little flecks in it. And she used this in her beauty salon and has the trash can down below and it's a rolly cart. So it's very cool. I like it a lot. And that's one of the reasons I like that pattern so much. So that is awesome. Um, got lots of glassware there. You can see just like all the shelves are full. I need to arrange them a little bit better, but for the most part, they're good to go. I also changed the way this is because I didn't like, I wanted it to look a little bit better. So I put it on diagonal. For a room like this, I just thought it looked a little bit too structured. Let's put it that way. Because of how everything's on the wall, so well, structured. I thought we better mix it up in the middle. And that's exactly what I did. And I think it, it works. Here's the other tape design that'll be coming out very soon. I'm really excited for it because it has like these seventies butterflies and like little Tupperware, a starburst clock, some swung vases, a peacock chair. It's just a really fun one. So I think this will be nice for fall time as well. The, the colors are really good for that. And so it should be out very soon and I'm anxious for it. I'm trying to decide what tape I wanna do after that one, so my third. And I've got a flamingo idea that is kind of interesting, or I've got like a straight up like starburst 60s, like, like just shapes basically, like a atomic starburst one that's just like, like that. So I can't decide. So to get real about the tape, I have, let's call it an issue, where I get excited about something and I just wanna do it and I see the potential in it and at the end of the day, I say to myself, well, if it doesn't work out, then at least I tried and it was fun to do. So that's all in well and good and it's actually a, a good way to look at putting yourself out there. The problem is, it's a lot of money. It's not like, oh, let me just, <laughs> let me just go like throw a couple hundred dollars at it or something. So it's an investment. All of these things are. It, so yeah, you're putting money on the line. You're putting your time and your money on the line. And it could end up being a long-term situation anyway, where investment wise, you don't really get your return back for however long. And so it's like, it's hard for me because I, I, I see how there could be a gap in the market and this could be something good, like the whole designer shipping tape. 
where you can like have fun shipping tape all year round. It could be all kinds of designs. You could change it up, and makes it stand out. But I could also see how maybe not many people care about that. Or they're just like, eh. But, you know, I came from Etsy. I used to sell on Etsy and I know that a lot of Etsy shop owners, just the aesthetic of things is paramount to them. And they want everything to look you know, a certain way and they want it to look good and they want to have like inserts in there that's like little business cards or thank you notes or like little coupons or little like extra things and put. So I know I could see the value. It's just like, it's basically it's something that I haven't seen anybody really tackle. And so that could be either good or bad. I don't know if it's a, an avenue that is waiting for me or like a sinkhole. So all I can do is follow what is making me happy and just go for it and say, you know what? If I end up losing a ton of money on this stuff, I just know that going into it. Ideally, the customer would be people that have stores or Etsy stores or you know that while there is a little crossover for people who just like ship things to like family members or whatever that's all good and well but i think the the larger customer would be business to business transactions rather than business to consumer so yeah that's kind of what i'm looking at and uh, it's a long term just kind of something i can play with and i i like the manifestation of taking an idea and turn it into a physical product like tape so it's solving a problem and it's doing it in style. So this box here is stuff that I picked up recently and I did not film there. It was a private pick. It was actually a subscriber who messaged me and said, hey, I've got all the stuff. And I was like, okay. So we've, he exchanged photos with me on Facebook and we settled on prices and all, and all that stuff. So <clears throat> let me show you some of these things here. I have, oh boy, it's stuck. You're stuck in the box. I picked up this lithograph here. It is not a huge size. I kind of like that about it. So it's it's more adaptable. It fits different places. This is an Atkinson Fox print. I will most likely have this up for sale here in person. And eventually, maybe, just put it in a live sale. It's not, it's not terribly large for shipping. The print, the, not the print, the frame is nice though. There's like little flowers on it and stuff. So it's just a nice serene landscape with the trees. Very, very nice. And it does have the hanger wire on it and it's ready to go. So I got that. This is all full of like figurines and things, but there are some nice ones. Like there's that schnauzer, I guess. That might be, it's either Lefton or Napco based on that sticker. And there's this one here, very cute. This one might be, I'm getting Joseph Originals vibes. I don't know if that's right. I might be wrong. And then, oh yes, there's this one. So yeah, I got these dog figurines. <laughs> there's a lot of other things too. So these are, oh, and there's some treasure craft fish down there. And deer salt and peppers. Treasure craft deer. Santa Claus, a little pixie. Look at these. These are fun. Eh. It's a it's a bunny with stuff inside. <laughs> Look at those. Aren't those adorable? These are the forest of California. So they're California pottery and they're just so cute. So there's that one and this one, salt and peppers. And then these salt and peppers are Japan, really cute. Yeah, you are. And then there's like the little red-eyed bunny. Um, This is very cool, this wood seagull piece. That is very nice. And it says it is myrtle wood. Myrtle wood, that's interesting. Isn't that beautiful though? It has really good uh, motion to it, with the birds. Okay, and then, actually there's 
it's these three boxes all from this guy so there's a lot I don't know um, oh yeah I should probably get out of there now this one is what is that oh Wuhan of California or Johan Vohan of California Vohan of California so it's another California pottery. Oh, a little cotton ball holder. Those are fun. So yeah, California pottery is nice. Let's just throw that over there. Oh, here's a perfume. That's SC Line, uh, Italy. The top of it is over here. There you go. A music box. Oh yeah, Morton pottery. Morton Pottery. Let's try to organize this a little bit better. Ah! Get back on there. Oh yeah, here's like a candy container of a bunny. That's a nice size one. You could fill that with, you know, maybe Easter grass or something to give it some color if you'd like. That would look, that would look cool. Okay, so I just went ahead and unwrapped everything. I've got more over there too. So, I've got this really cool piece here. It has like little shavings of copper in it. This resin letter sorter with the owls, double sided. That's fun. So I got that. This is Len whoops. This is Linux. This butterfly tray. There's like a bee on it, a butterfly. It's really pretty. It says Linux butterfly meadow. It's really pretty. Isn't that nice? A pair of candlesticks. These are etched, so they have the little flowers etched in them and then little lines. Mmm, that's really nice. Those tall. They're heavy too. I believe they're crystal. Swung vase in the amber. This is Watt pottery. Isn't that nice? Nice little piece. I haven't really bought any Watt. And then we've got a Made in Japan set right there. Then we have Treasure Craft. This is a Treasure Craft Mickey Mouse. Interesting little thing. An enamelware piece with the orange. That's orange and black. Here is a Tanala Owl. Isn't that a cool one? I love the shape of that. And then we have this nice big bowl. It says it is Pottery Guild. Really cool. Nice Nice big green piece. Over here, I put a little bit more in this box too. Oh, we got the Black Panther planter. I need to attach his chain to this piece here, but then it'll be good. So it's a Black Panther, Black Panther planter. <laughs> I've actually sold this one. I don't know if it was the exact same one, but that's really cool. So I also added, oh yeah, yeah. There's a cracked egg planter in here with little girl and a bunny. And then, um, this really cool wall pocket, and that is whole pottery. Oh, I also added this gobel, this little gobel bunny. Isn't that nice? People collect gobel, and that's a cute one, his little flower. <laughs> and then over in this other box, let's see here, put that there. Okay, this box, we have a little piece of Heisey. Nice. So there's the H with the diamond right there. I don't really find a lot of Heisey around here, so this was a fun piece. Nice. And then in here, there's a couple tins. They were included in one of the lots that he had. So I went with it. We'll put a price on them and stick them up here at the shop. That one is red and or, or red and white, so that'd be good for Christmas. Nice piece, you could put that and use it as like a, a riser. And then Manor, Texas fruit cake with horses on it. This is a railroad piece. I got that only, well, with the intention that maybe if Aaron wants it, if not, I'll sell it some other way. It's just a neat piece and it says, I C G R R. What do we think that is? Illinois Central 
Grand, Illinois Central Grand Railroad. Maybe, that's me guessing completely. <laughs> okay, so I was able to get all of those really fun things. So that's great. 